guys, Caleb here. Wanted to do a quick video review of the new Google app that really uh, was released today, Google Keep. I have had it installed on my phone for all of about five minutes. I can tell right away I am going to utilize this app. It's tremendous and like the second that I was doing something on my phone, it was already showing up on my desktop. The sync uh, between the mobile and the desktop is tremendous. Very impressed by that right away. And it's one of the apps that has the better user interface that I've seen Google do. So really, really impressed. All right. Uh, I will put a link to it in the video description as of this video. I couldn't find it in the Play Store. I had to use a direct link that I found. So I'll put that there for you guys just in case others are having that problem. Um, but let's look at the app. All right. So uh, as you can see, I have already created four quick notes. Super simple. You've got different options you can do. I'll go through them real quick. Um, you know, let's do you know one, two, three, four. We'll start here. Um, it's basic. Give a title. Give a note. Change the color of it. And if you wanted, you could add a picture. I'm not going to do it now, but it's the easy, easy, easy way to do it. Um, you can create a list. So you know, like grocery list and maybe you want to give a different color code for that. Um, again, you can add pictures. You can say voice commands. It records it. And not only do you get the message, but you also get the ability to play that message back. Um, I need to determine what the square footage of my backyard is. It's just super simple. Um, and I didn't do it, but once you click on it, um, then it'll start taking the voice message and after you finish talking and there's a pause, it'll translate it to text and then that will be stored as a WAV file. There we go. That probably wasn't going to translate very well, but you get the point. All right, and then of course you can add a uh, picture. And I've got a few of those already on here. So, you know, this right here, that's the garbage that I just recorded. Um, I wasn't even close enough to my phone for that pickup. A really cool thing to get rid of, uh, let's say a, a note, uh, if you're ready to get discard of it, you can archive it very simple by just swiping it. That's it, it's gone. You can see down here it's been archived and you get the ability to undo that if it was a mistake. So I'll click undo, bam, there it is. All right, great. Um, and I'll just show you a few, you know, I made a note to myself, I need to buy beer, awesome. And close that, remove the photo, okay. It's just super easy. Now you can see how that changed, now it's buy beer big. The picture's no longer there. Swipe it away, it's gone. Undo it. You know, I've got a list of stuff I need to go buy at the grocery store. As I'm buying it at the store, I can just check it off. And I mean, gosh, if my wife was at home, she could tell right away what I've already picked up off the grocery list. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, and then, you know, I put a note in here. I need to practice playing some poker, playing Friday night. So uh, just amazing how easy it is to add stuff and uh, I love the way that it looks. Now this is a two column view. You can switch it to a single column and it takes away some of the uh, prettiness of it. I'm going to cover my phone for a second because when I go to settings it will show my email. Uh, bear me one second. Let's see. Actually, you can switch to a single column view without um, going to your settings. Apologies. Cover my phone for no reason. So that's what it looks like in a single view. Um, I, I definitely prefer the multi column. I don't know why. I just think it looks better. Anyway, tremendous tool. Syncs automatically, really quickly. Pretty user interface. Um, definitely going to get a lot of functionality out of it. And I can only imagine it's going to get a lot better from here. I mean, heck, it was just released. All right, uh, let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed it.